Hello, good evening. Good evening, good evening class, how are you? Pretty good? Fine, sure. Yes, fine. Okay, good, good. All right, welcome, uh, Carla. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you, Carla? Fine, and you? Good. Good evening. Good evening, Marvin. Good how evening. are you? Hi. I flu. You have the flu? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. That's, that's... Yeah, teacher. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Oh, well, um, all right. well, the only thing you can do with the flu is take a lot of liquids and rest. Yeah, yeah. But tomorrow is the, tomorrow I going to work. Uh, you don't have any sick leave? Uh, repeat, please. Do you have a sick leave? Mm, I don't understand this. A this sick work. leave is like a permission to not work? Ah, uh, no, teacher. No, no, no. No? No. That sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, yeah, so teacher. you're just going to have to be very brave and, um, you know, work it out. Sorry yeah. to hear that. Okay, well, welcome, Ana Claudia. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. It's uh, about to rain here in my mm. city. Mm. So we are expecting to rain because it has been a hot day, very hot yeah, day. Yeah, it has been a hot day. Where do you live, mm. Ana Claudia? I live in Santa Ana. Oh, okay. Santa Ana City, Claudia? Of course. Oh, I'm connected wow. from the best city of the world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. And That's I nice feel... Two times perfect. <laughs> yes, two twice. Perfect twice. <laughs> perfect twice. <laughs> perfect twice. <laughs> yes. Oh, Sunday night was... A, everybody was happy, crazy... Uh, 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 na <laughs> Sunday what? night, uh, because of the champ, because of the football championship. Oh, uh, Fast had uh, like around almost twelve mean? years, not winning. Always eleven, they, 11 years. Eleven and a half, I guess. Uh, eleven and a half. Uh. I don't know nothing about football, but uh, people was crazy going around with. How do you? Parachutes, no. Pirotecnia, o, o, o como se dice juego artificial? Fireworks. Fireworks. Fireworks, ah, okay. A lot of fireworks eh, every time, every minute. So it was crazy. We are waiting and expecting, let's see how the COVID situation goes on because um, there was a massive celebration in the Central Park. Oh, let's see what happens. Good. Well, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> Yes, I live here and I'm happy because I'm working from home. When I was uh, before the pandemic, um, I travel every day to San Salvador. I, I, I can assure you that I didn't sleep because I was uh, taking my tra transportation like around 4.30 a.m. But I was arriving back like around 9.30, 9.15 p.m. It was crazy. Now I know what a sleep is. What's the meaning of sleep? <laughs> oh, good, good. I'm glad to hear yeah. it. Okay, well, I'm evening. glad you had a good time. Yes. Yeah. Good okay. evening. Good evening. Um, okay, so guys, uh, welcome to everybody. I'm going to start the class like I always do, taking our attendance to okay. make sure that everybody is here or that everybody that is here, I take. I, I take note of. <laughs> okay, so let's start with Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Wonderful. Uh, Andres. Present teacher. Welcome, Andres. Edgar. We're not here. 
Uh, Janet. Present teacher. Wonderful, welcome Janet. Fabiola. Thank you. Fabiola? No, not here. Haiti. Present teacher. All right. Um, Irene? Irene? Not Irene. Okay, no Irene. Oh, okay. Um, Ivan? Ivan? No. Okay. Johnny? No. Okay. Um, Josue? Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Welcome. Uh, Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Welcome, Juan Francisco. Jury. Present teacher. Welcome, Jury. Carla. Carla. No. Present teacher. Where's Carla? Ah, there she is. Yes. Okay. All right, welcome. Uh, Melissa? Melissa? No, okay, no Melissa. Uh, Luis? Present here. Wonderful. Uh, welcome, Luis. And um, Manuel Alejandro? Present teacher. Welcome, Manuel Alejandro. Um, Marvin. Present teacher. Welcome. Wendy. 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 All right. Um, Werner. Is Werner connected yet? Not yet. I think it's not. No. Okay. Yvonne. Present. Welcome, Yvonne. Francisco. Thank you. Francisco. No, Francisco. Okay, Jenny. Jenny. No, Jenny. Okay. So the people that I called and I haven't um, heard a response from is Edgar. Uh, Fabiola, Irene, Ivan, Johnny, Melissa, Wendy just told me that she's here. Present teacher. Yeah, all right. Uh, Werner, Francisco, Javier, and Jenny. Okay, so those are the people that I don't have any registration for. Okay. Um, uh, oh, Ivan. Ah, Ivan's here. Okay. Present teacher, sorry, okay. I'm late. <laughs> okay, all right, wonderful, thank you. Okay, let's continue then with uh, our class. Um, First of all, um, let's begin with our PowerPoint. Please tell me if you can see it. Yes? Yes, no, maybe, can you see it or no? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. All right, so beginner in module six, uh, it's unit two, staff and schedule. And uh, today is Wednesday, June 2nd, 2021. And uh, today's day, oh, sorry, no, today is not day seven, sorry, today is day eight. I made a mistake there. It's not seven, it's eight. Sorry about that. Okay. So it's uh, Dana Ray. Your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Okay, so let's begin. Um, 
Ivan, do you have a question? Or is that just your hand was from the from the previous time that you were telling me that you you were here? Well, for the assistance. Oh, for to the attendance. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Yeah. Th I thank you for us, teacher. Okay. Yeah. No, I just noticed your hand right now, so I I said maybe he has a question. Okay. All right. Um, so. We're going to start, first of all, I we started talking a little bit about adverbs of frequency um, yesterday. And we learned that adverbs of frequency are those that indicate how often or how frequent an action takes place. So the activity, the action, how frequent is it? And we can use words like 100, seldom, rarely, sometimes, hardly ever, never. And we mentioned last class that seldom, rarely, and hardly ever are pretty much, they're very similar in meaning, okay? So I would say that uh, rarely is like down here, then hardly ever, then like seldom, okay? Okay, so, uh, and then we saw the, the examples. We often change the menu. We always give away promotional items. They regularly select their options. And uh, just to make sure that we all remember, and for those that uh, may have not been in class yesterday, for whatever reason, I'm gonna write down the, the, um, the structure, right? Okay, so, it goes, starts with the subject, then goes the adverb of frequency, okay? Then after that, then after that, we have the simple press, um, the simple, the simple present, and I explained that most of the time we're going to be using simple present. It's it is possible to use another structure, but like I would say, eighty five percent of the time or ninety percent of the time, you're going to find the simple present. So I would just get used to using the simple present. Okay, and um, sometimes there will be a complement as well. Okay, not all the time, but it is possible to use a complement. Okay, and so that is the structure that we talked about yesterday. That is uh, for for this. Okay. All right. Um, let me put it in the box. So let me see. Okay, there it is. Okay, so this is the structure that you're going to be following. And for homework, I asked you to do this activity. Write sentences about the activities you do at your workplace. Use the following adverbs of frequency to, take, um, to say how often you do those activities. And today we're going to be sharing your information with your group in the with your group in the assigned breakout room. That's what we're gonna be doing today, okay? And I asked you to do these for homework, so you're gonna be using always, rarely, hardly ever, seldom, sometimes, and ever. And just to give you an idea, um, I'm sure you guys, um, you know, you guys already did it and everything, but just to make sure that you guys have an idea that you're doing it correctly, um, an example of this would be, um, Example, um, I always arrive to work on, on time. And I'm sure you do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not like, uh, I, don't, I don't who was the one that said yesterday that your, co your co-workers always get there at 8.05? Who said that? I, I forgot right now. Somebody, somebody said that their coworkers. I guess it was Jenny. 
Was it Jenny? Uh, okay, okay. I guess Jenny's not here, right? Okay, yeah. So we don't, you know, I'm sure you're not like Jenny's, um, you know, co workers that get there, um, you know, five, 10 minutes late. Okay, so, um, anyways. That, so that's an example, right? Okay, um, I'm just giving you an example. Uh, obviously, your your ideas can all be different. Okay, so I'm going to be assigning you groups, you know, and you're going to share the information with your group. Does that sound clear for everybody? The are the instructions clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yeah? Yes. Good. Okay. Um, is Warner here? Guess not. Okay. All right, so I'm going to assign three or four people per group. Okay, and I'm going to give you guys, um, I, I, I'm going to give you about eight minutes, okay, to talk to your classmates. And you know, you can go ahead and ask questions as well. Okay, so here we go. I'm opening up all the rooms. Go ahead. Okay. So, on the first ones, I always use uh, my username, password for working in the scanner HCM. I seldom to replace the battery to the HCM remote to control. I will really uh, right, rarely, rarely, rarely send an anomaly report. Rarely, rarely. Uh, rarely. Uh, <laughs> okay, thank you. I sometimes make an operation report. I hardly ever work over time, and I have never received um, a warning. The managers are manager never works on weekend. Okay. Um, well, Swiss is a good boy. He's never received a warning. Yeah, never. Oh, In wow. six years. Wow, I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm very impressed. Okay. Good. Uh, this correct use, uh, I have never is um, I have like an article. Yes, I have never. Uh, I have never, sorry, what did you say? I have never what? I have never received a warning. Yeah, it's because actually it's because you're using, um, actually I'm gonna, I, I'm going to talk about that uh, with the whole class in general so that way help you a little bit to understand it but basically the idea is because uh, in uh, present participle sorry the present perfect and the present perfect is composed right so when you have two parts to like the auxiliary and the verb then the, the goes in the middle okay all right. Anything else you guys want to ask me? Hey, uh, I, uh, I tell myself. Sorry, could you repeat that again? Uh, I always fill a checklist 
before I start to again. I rarely arrive belay to my work, to my work. Uh, we hardly ever. <laughs> it's full, full. <laughs> traffic jam. Yeah. Un día por semana. Basta. No hay trabajo. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Aún estoy tratando de ver de qué forma puedo ser más sigilosa. No. <risa> Se escucha. Imposible. Ay. Imposible. Bueno, ya veremos, ya veremos. Sí. Qué podemos... ¿Qué? <risa> Microphone. <risa> I was reading my, yes, my, my, my. I just finished reading my, my sentence. I always log in on time. My manager rarely takes an escalation call for my customers. I hardly ever request a medical leave. Really? Um, yeah. Wow. Thanks God, I don't know. And my team seldom fails to achieve the revenue goal. Uh, I sometimes forget to add notes to my calls <laughs> and I never go to the main office in San Salvador to request a personal leave permission. Okay, good. Good. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so you have a few more minutes. Um, just continue talking about in English, okay? Okay, okay. Okay. No worry. I don't know if you have pupusas in my lunch. I don't remember. It's rarely. Yes, yeah, I, I, I eat pupusas in, in dinner um, in, in the morning, maybe. In the night, but in the lunch, no. No, it isn't common. Uh, it's not at, in the night. You say at night. At night, okay, teacher. Thank you. At night, teacher. What is the difference in the seldom and rarely? Because I can uh, stay in the class yesterday. Um, what is the difference? If they're very similar in meaning, it's just that rarely is like um, like a little bit here, and then seldom is like a little bit here. Like, um, but they're pretty very, they're very much, they're very similar. Mm. Okay. okay. Very rara vez. Like, so rarely is rara vez. And uh, seldom is pocas veces. Ah, so. uh, okay. So it's, it's kind of the same idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Or no, no. Drink. I don't drink soda. Okay. I I I buy maybe the smell of ice. ice. Rarely. <laughs> Early ever. <laughs> By this. this is a very interesting discussion. <laughs> yeah, teacher. I, <laughs> okay. It's very important conversation. Yes, I can see that. especially because it was supposed to be related to work, but okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I used to never. I used teacher, never it's because Marvin is beer. sick. Oh, Mar Marvin, Marvin got get the flu. Yeah. And I, I, I told told him that the tequila is good for that. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Mezcal is very good for this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I just came at a wrong moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
I understand. Okay, no problem. All right, I'll see you guys in the main room. Okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, so uh, how did you guys feel? Were you able to talk about uh, the, um, the activities that you do at workplace using uh, the simple present, sorry, the, yeah, the simple present and the, the adverse of frequency? Yes? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Yeah. All right. I told you that um, most of the time, like let's say 80% of the time when we use simple, uh, so when we use adverse frequency, we're gonna be using the simple present, right? However, sometimes we use other, other tenses. For example, one of the tenses that is commonly used is the present perfect, okay? So I'm actually going to share the whiteboard with you because I want to show you something. Um, right now, as I was going through the groups, uh, somebody asked me about this. And so um, I think it would be to our benefit if I explain it to everybody. Um, so this is... Like I said, um, it's to your benefit if for the moment, for the time being, you can stick to with the simple present. And I'm saying that it would be beneficial because I think that, um, it, you know, if like getting used to the adverts of frequency is important to do first, and then you can go ahead and, um, you know, uh, try other tenses. But, you know, this is very important. Now, like I said, most of the time, we're going to get sentences like, um, and by the way, the, I'm, I, by the way, this is, this is ahead of yourself. Like, this is like the, um, you know, this is more like an intermediate level kind of thing. So, um, you know, you don't really need to know it right now, but it's, it's not a bad idea to know it. So the thing is about the adverb frequency is the following. So if you say, for example, we oh, we never um, go to the beach. Um, we never go to the beach uh, during spring spring break because it's too crowded. Do we understand, um, you understand spring break? Me, no. No? Nobody understands spring break? Me? I don't understand. The spring, yes, and break, but I don't know in the context. Okay, spring break is the equivalent here of what you say, Semana Santa. Okay? Yeah? And I mean, of course, spring break doesn't really exist here because, first of all, there, it's not recognized in El Salvador to have the state, the, the, one of the seasons to be spring, right? You, you guys understand spring, right? Spring is primavera, right? So really in El Salvador, you don't have spring. Uh, like 
it's mostly just two seasons it's winter and and summer and so it you know spring doesn't really exist but you know in other parts of the world spring break is basically one week um you know where it's um people take time off for a holiday um you know students like take a little break from school um you know to continue and um you know university students as well that's spring break and it's what we like the equivalent of the semana santa because it's during the same time okay so sure yeah excuse me uh, sometimes i heard that semana santa in english is holy week um yeah yeah um, like i said it exactly it, i mean i'm saying that this is like the equivalent i'm not saying that it's the same it's the like the equivalent it's kind of like to give you an example um you know uh some christian people they celebrate christmas but um other people um like that are not christian like um jew jews Jews don't celebrate Christmas because Jews uh, don't believe that um, you know Christ as uh, as being God's son. So they celebrate something different, but it's at the same period of time, and it's called Hanukkah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so okay. that's what I'm saying. It's not the same, but it's like the equivalent. You know, it's during uh, okay. the same period of time. Okay. You know when it's spring when it's spring and you know uh, students take a holiday for one week you know just to relax some some students uh even go like on a vacation uh for spring break right um so that's like the equivalent anyways going back to the sentence so we never go to the to the beach during spring break because it's too crowded okay so um, like I said, adverbs of frequency, we normally put the verb before, okay, sorry, sorry, the, um, sorry, my mistake, the subject, the subject before, um, so over here we have we with the subject, right, and then the adverb of frequency is in this case never, okay. so after we put the, the adverb of frequency goes after the subject, and then um, last but not least, we have the verb. And the verb is in the simple present, right? We never go. But of course, this is subject to change, right? Because if the if the subject was, for example, he, <clears throat> instead of saying he, we said, sorry, instead of saying we, we said um, he. moment okay so instead of saying um he we we said he then this would have to change to goes right that's why i'm saying simple present he never goes to the beach during spring break because it's too crowded does that make sense for you guys that's why we're using simple yes present. yes teacher. yes okay. yes teacher. Good. Okay, good. Oh, um, hold on. I think we changed. I moved it too much. There we go. Okay. All right. So, um, so that's that's how we know, we would normally say it. Now, um, if the the verb, so this is this happens with any verb like go, wash, um, eat, play, drink, um, eat, read, write, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera all of the verbs, except with the verb to be, because the verb to be is a special verb. The verb to be always is an exception. It always changes the rule. And what happens is that when we have the verb to be, for example, we do this. You see, um, she is never, oh, sorry, let's change it. She is sometimes, um, she is sometimes um, she's sometimes tired 
after sometimes tired after um, after lunch. In that case, in, we have changed the structure a little bit. And the first thing that we do is we put um, the subject, of course, right? The subject, which is, in this case, it's she. Okay. And then, um, and mm -hmm. then we have, but if you notice, we don't have the adverb or frequency. Oops, oh, I guess. Sorry, guys. <laughs> there was a bug. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, my. Um, okay. Um, where was that? Okay, so if normally we would have the adverb of frequency, but if you notice over here, we don't have the adverb of frequency. The next word after that is actually the verb. Okay, mm -hmm. so we say the verb to be. She is. And after that, then we have the adverb of frequency. Okay, so like I said, this the verb to be changes the structure okay so normally we use a structure with all the other verbs we use this structure this is like 99 percent of the time it's only with the verb to be that we change the structure the other thing that changes the structure is when we don't use a simple present but instead we use a, a structure where there is an auxiliary for example, the present perfect. The present perfect has the verb to be, sorry, the verb have as an auxiliary. So if we had, for example, this sentence, you, you have, um, You have all, um, you have been there for me. You have been there for me. You guys, you understand the start, the, the idea of you have been there for me, right? Yeah? Yeah. Tu has estado ahí para mí. Okay. So, here we're using the present perfect have been yeah in this case because we're using two parts of the verb right the auxiliary and the main verb what we're going to do is we're going to put the adverb frequency here right here in the middle okay so we're going to say you have always been there for me okay you put it in the middle Okay, so that also changes the structure when we have a verb that is composed of two parts. Okay, so here's the, sub the subject, right? Um, and then goes the verb, which is starting with um, have and finishes with been. And you will notice that the adverb frequency is in between the two parts of the verb, okay? So like I said, this is this is like a little bit higher level. Um, you know, if you don't, if you're, if this is confusing you more, then just forget about it because at this point, all you need to know is what I taught you yesterday. So like I said, but if this is you. confusing you, just like they say in Spanish, I am caso miso, okay? All right, so there we go. All right, so let's go back to our PowerPoint presentation. And we have this, which is your turn. Work in pairs, join your assigned breakout room. Look at the graph showing how often three branches of a restaurant do promotional activities during the month. And this is the graph we have, okay? So this graph, you're gonna be using this graph here, which is also in your 
in your book, right? So, and then ask classmate how often each branch does promotional activities. Okay. Write your classmates' answers in the chart below. Okay, sounds good? Yes, no? No? Everybody's, uh, it's clear what we're gonna be doing or are you confused? It's okay, you can tell me. For me, it's confused because. Okay, what, what part is confusing for Francisco? Guys, can you hear me? What you say is that we need to take a look at the graphics, right? And right. you have to look at this uh, at this graph. So there are four branches, right, of the same restaurant. So what you want us to take a look, looking at the, the graphics, is how often they uh, do promotional activities, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. So this one here, this. This bar here that is like a turquoise color is San Salvador, right? The San Salvador branch, right? It's right here. And and I guess, I'm sorry, the numbers are the days? It, it, uh, yeah, exactly. Ah, okay. The days, mm -hmm. exactly, yeah. And, um, and then we have La Paz, right? With this, this, uh, the, this is a La Paz, La Paz branch. Then the green one here is referring to La Union branch, and the, and the orange one is referring to the Usulutan branch. Okay, so you can see how often they do different things, like for the menu, for like changing the menu, for rotating the shifts, right? You understand rotating shifts, right? So changing. Uh, the shifts that everybody um, works, right? So like if um, somebody works the morning shifts later, if they change it, they will work the afternoon shifts, example, right? And how often they change the desserts, the, or better said not change, they make a new dessert, and uh, how often they have a promotional item. Okay, does that okay. make uh, Juan Francisco, is that, do you understand that a little bit better? Okay, what, what part do you not understand, Juan Francisco? Uh, what is, uh, what we have to you you're going to, if your partner, you're going to compare, you're going to compare the four branches, okay? And you're going to be able to see how often, what is the frequency that each, that each branch does the promotions for changing or changing the menu, rotating shift, new dessert, promotional items. So you can say, for example, um, how often like okay, how often does, uh, how often does La Paz, a branch, have a new dessert? Well, if you look at it right here, here is, here is the new dessert, and La Paz corresponds to this little one here, this yellow one, and that's only three, right? The value is three. Or two or three. For, for example, the San Salvador is the best when you are talking about the promotional items, right? Right, exactly. Yeah. And and taking it and taking into consideration the new dessert, um, La Union, you know, it's only like three, so it's not very much. So you would say um, La La Paz branch uh, rarely right? Rarely um, has a new dessert, mm. right? Or, or here, for example, in promotional item, 
like as was mentioned, uh, this is a San Salvador branch, which is like 15 days. So that's like, Always. that's Always. like, yeah, that, that's, um, you know. Always, every, if we knew that today is, is uh, October 15, we could say it's always, but what day is today? What day, what day will we pretend this today? Because no, no, if no. you say San Salvador always has a No, what you want is that we use the adverbs of Yes, exactly. We right. need the adverbs That's of frequency. Fine. Adverbs of frequency. So, so you're going to be using exactly. words like That's why. To say, for me to say that always it should be October 15, right? No, 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 no. This corresponds Perfect. to the amount of days and in the in in the in the month. Mm -hmm. There are there are 30 months. Sorry, there are oh, 30, 30, 30 days. 30 days in a month. That's what I meant. Okay, so if they're doing it 15 days during the month, that's a lot, right? That's like wow, like every other day they have a promotional item. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's very often, mm -hmm. right? So you could say always or very often, right? Um, or usually, right? Um, you know, things like that. Okay, so Teacher, uh, I have seen the um, adverb of frequency. Exactly, you assign the, the adverb. In my opinion. Well, yes. It's, it's, uh, I, I maybe say, I maybe it's always, but it's not exactly the number. For example, uh, 14 is always. No, no, okay. It's, no. Com, it's uh, We're not using always, are we? It's okay. like, it's because like, it's it's like, like to say uh, the, the same example, a promotion item. Always San Salvador is, is promoting item right exactly i'll write it down so you guys can see what i mean one has to use okay. the adverse of frick exactly san salvador um is always uh or fifty or or um always as a promotional promotional item example okay okay or yeah so this this is an, an example right or you can say um la paz rarely ever rarely la paz rarely um makes a new dessert Right, because it's only three days during the during the month. Okay. Okay. How many okay. sentences do you want us to create? Just speaking. So I, it doesn't really matter how ah, many. Okay. 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 I, I don't want you guys writing anything. I want you to speak. Okay. Okay. Are the instructions now clear? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, good. All right. Okay, so let me, you're going to be working in Paris this time. So let me make the groups. Um, okay. Um, Warner is not here today, right? Okay. All right, um, again, um, this is only speaking, so I'll give you guys, um, how about eight? eight minutes sounds good. Okay, so let's open the rooms. Marvin, Carla, 
You guys there? Carla? Carla? Carlita? Carla? You there, Carla? The branches, San Salvador, La Paz, La Union, and Usulatan. Yes, but in the graph that we see in the example, um, it could be um, how often uh -oh. San Salvador branch uh, road chip. Yeah. What do you think, Ivan? I see. Oh. Uh, I think is when, uh, how do you say? The amount of days, I think so. Teacher, it's that uh, we need to know if, if the from zero to 16, it's the days of the month they had the promotion. For example, during the whole October, uh, San Salvador had the promotion items 15 days. So the half of the month, is that right? That is right. Okay, so we can say that sometimes San Salvador's branch sometimes uh, has promotional items, right? Yeah. We work with 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 sometimes occasionally seldom hardly ever and never we don't have any never mm. right yeah and hey i can't see the whole uh, okay. okay okay there you go so, so in the case of the menu Change the menu. Uh, Tan always change the menu. And then La Paz. It's that in that case, I guess we cannot use always. Some days. So, yeah. uh, October has so how many sometimes. days? So, 31? From, from the 31 days, they had it. Which branch did you say? Usulutan. Usulutan. Mm -hmm. 13 days of the, of the month, they had mm -hmm. a promotional <coughs> item. So, mm -hmm. so you have. It's, it's, it's not about the percent, no. Miss Jessica. Yeah. What is the the reason that you use a number, not the percent? Uh, because the numbers correspond to the number of days during the month. Mm. Right? During the month, there, there are, well, in October, there are 31 days. So. Oh, uh, yeah. 16 days, so they're saying maximum 16 days, right? So if from 15 out of out of the 16, uh, out of the 31 days. Does that make sense? Okay, in San Salvador, uh, change the menu twice or 12 days. Exactly. That could be uh, occasionally. Occasionally. Because is is up um, is down to the middle of the month. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 
that's okay. Fine. I I make a mistake because uh -huh. it's the similar, but uh, um, for me the the new dessert is um la union rarely rarely have a new dessert. Have or has? Have. Has. Have. Has. The, the branch. The branch. Okay. Has. Has a new dessert. Mm. Um, and the. The chef. Okay. Uh, uh, the uh, La Union branch uh, have a new dessert. Have or has? has sorry. <laughs> has a new dessert. Mm -hmm. uh, the range, the La Union in their city is, is seldom. I, I have okay. a question for you, Luis, I, out of context. Uh -huh. How do you blur your background? Yes. How do you blur your Sorry. background? Uh, you go to the, yes, you go to the, uh, settings, uh, the video settings. Yeah. And then you click over uh, background or choose a virtual background. Oh. And you uh, click on blur, just that. I mean, no, but no, but it's blur. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I just went a tour. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, <laughs> yes, it is, uh, give me one second. Um, I don't know if, I uh, know you, yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. you are on mute. Yeah. Yes. Video settings? Yeah. And you go, yeah, and this. I don't get that really? one. Yeah, I don't know why. Maybe it has to do with I the don't know. <laughs> maybe it's the camera. So maybe you have, uh, or maybe you have to actually say the uh, your. Uh, no, I have. Uh, the, the app. No, I have the 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 most recent app. No, nah, it's trying Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, because I I have the most recent. <laughs> so I I'm guessing maybe it's the camera. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Maybe, but it's a stranger. Mm -hmm. It's strange, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, anyways, yeah, just had that that curiosity. Okay. 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 <laughs> all right. So, um, all right. I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay. In the main room. Okay. All right. Okay, so what do you guys think? Um, do we understand this a little better now? Do we feel that we can uh, we can use the 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 adverse of frequency? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. Any 
seldom teacher alguna vez in the teacher in the middle the always and sometimes have other are better of frequency sometimes yes because it's como o sea the sometimes are always have or I can use other adverb of frequency that uh, uh, okay. I don't know what these what, what you, say. You want to know what other adverbs of frequency we can use? Is yes, that? because the always is alguna vez, but all no 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 sorry always is siempre and or, or is is true. And sometimes algunas veces, but have other adverb. Yeah. O sea, como que termino medio. Yeah, sure. Or not. Um, there are lots and lots of adverbs of free. Yes. So um, I'm not going to spend all my time um, telling you all the possibilities. But, you know, yes, we can have. I'm just going to give you a long list. Um, I'm not going to put them in any order in particular. I'm just going to give you this so we have like words like always, sometimes, usually, generally, okay, occasionally, um, uh, very often, very often, um, not very often, um, we have rarely, Hardly ever. Um, um, never. Sure, yesterday, yesterday, a Werner shared with me a chart. I'm going to um, pass it to the WhatsApp group about the okay. the level two. Level two. They saw a, a list. Let me share with you this. Um, yeah, in the in, uh, share anything in the WhatsApp. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, is so we have um, never, seldom. Um, I send it. Okay, well, thank you. Thanks to Warner, he shared this with me. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you, Warner. Um, yeah, so we have here words like normally. Um, Make another right here. We have uh, what else can we have? Um, well, no, 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 no. Normally is normalmente, teacher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, correct. Um, trying to think of ones that are just regular. Give yeah, me a moment. Just give me a second, guys. Um, oh, we can use frequently. Frequently is also a frequency. Valga la redundancia. Frequently. Okay. Um, I think I think those are like almost never. Almost never, um, almost always. Okay. Um, let's see if there's something else. Oh, 
or just simply often. Instead of just very often, you can just say it's often. Okay. Oh, by the way, guys, this word over here, this word can have two pronunciations. Um, it's possible to say often or often, and they're both correct. Okay. All right. So those are some of the adverbs of frequency. I think this this seems to be quite complete. Okay. They are they are in no particular order. Okay. Just to, to let you guys know. Okay. All right. Uh, any questions so far? No, teacher. Oh. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna I'm going to stop sharing. All right, um, and I'm gonna take attendance. So we have Ana Claudia, the teacher, Andres, Giovanni, present teacher, uh, Edgar, present teacher. Wonderful, um, Janet, present teacher. Great, Fabiola. All right. Uh, Haiti. Present teacher. Irene. Um, Ivan. Present teacher. Johnny. Uh, Josue. Present teacher. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Okay, good. Jury. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Carla. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Uh, Carla, are you having problems with your 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 camera? Ah, there she is. <laughs> okay. Um, Melissa. No, Melissa. Okay. Uh, Luis. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Um, Manuel. Present teacher. Marvin. Present teacher. Uh, Wendy. Hi. Present teacher. Okay. Warner. Present teacher. Friends, uh, sorry, Yvonne. Present. Okay. Um, Francisco. Francisco. Okay. Jenny. Jenny. Okay. Oh, uh, I see. I see Warner. Hello, Werner. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I'm sorry. Okay. I I working. Okay. Well, thank you for connecting. Okay. Um. So um. We are going to start. Uh. With our new lesson, where we we already finished. Um. The adverbs of frequency. We understand them. So. Let's look at the new lesson that we have available for us, which is starting with our conversation. So uh, we have this conversation here um, between Ben and, and Matthew. Okay, um, who would like to be Ben and who would like to be Matthew? Me, Ben. Okay, hey, Matthew. Okay, Jury wants to be Ben and Marvin wants to be Matthew. Okay, Jury, um, would you be so kind to open up your camera? Okay, I am working too. <laughs> Let me see. Hi, Matthew. How how is it going? 
Very good, Ben. I am relieved that everybody is here today because of traffic, you know. You're right. Look, who has the early and late shift for this coming, coming weekend? According to the shooter, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift. And Tom and Kate have the evening shift. Okay, thank you very much. Very, very good, guys. Bravo. Okay, all right. So let's talk about vocabulary. First, give me in the chat all of the words that you do not understand the vocabulary. Okay, so, so far I only see one, oh, sorry, two words. Any other words? No? Okay. Uh, relieved. Uh, relieved is, um, it means when you, when uh, you have a problem and you find like a solution, um, and you go like, you go, whew, right? Okay, that is relieved. Yeah, okay, so, whew, you know, that, that, that feeling, like, oh, you know, everything is perfect. Oh, I'm so glad everything is, you know, I had that problem, but now there's a solution. So that feeling is relieved. Um, yes, that's right. Uh, yeah. It is that, it is, that's what it means. Yes, I leave, I leave you. Um, but actually, um, it's not really alivio. It's more aliviado. aliviado. Exactly, which is the difference between alivio Relief. and relief. Relief is the noun. Uh. Relieved is the past participle of relieve. So, so I am relieved. Okay. That's a past participle. Well, actually, well, it's 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 a past participle and it's also an adjective, both. So relief, I can use it. I feel relief. No. I feel relief. Yes, which means alivio, right? As an as a noun. Uh huh. As an a noun, exactly. And relieved can either be an adjective or an, or a past participle. So that in that case, is I am. I am relieved. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. I cannot say I feel relieved. <laughs> no, it doesn't exist. I what? I feel relieved. Yes. Relieved, like, can, can we use it in that way too? Yes, I feel relieved. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Okay. Because you're using you're using an, that as an adjective, relieved as an adjective. It's like saying I feel ah. I feel tired, I feel hungry, I feel cold. It's an adjective. Mm -hmm. So relieved, you say it's the same as adjective, you write it down the same as the past participle, you say is? Yeah, as, as, as the verb, yes. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Yes. In the past participle or in the simple past. Okay, thank you for that. Yeah, you're welcome. Anything else? Any other words that you don't understand? No? Okay, let's go to pronunciation. Tell me what words do you want to find out the pronunciation? Mm 
Really? No words? No? Oh, wonderful. Okay, so everything is clear. All right, perfect. So, um, having said that, we're going to, I want you to do two things. We're going to be working with. Yeah. Yeah? So, sorry. Mm -hmm. It's 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 schedule. Oh, oh sorry, sorry, I miss sorry. My mistake. Oh um yes, uh I, I, I forgot the word shift. Um I'm sorry about that. Um yes, um I'll I'll talk about schedule in a moment. Um shift means the period of time that you work. So you can work the morning shift and the afternoon shift or you can work the afternoon shift and the night shift. Or you can also work the graveyard shift. So the graveyard shift is um, maybe starting from like nine or 10 at night and finishing at six in the morning, for example. It's during that period of time where most people are sleeping, okay? That's the graveyard shift. So it's a period of time that you work. Okay, how do you say shift in Spanish? Turno. Turno. Exactly. So we're talking about the period of time. For example, um, doctors, doctors have long shifts. Usually they, like, especially at a hospital, they work maybe 24 hours shift or 36 hour shifts. Yeah. So doctors work a long time. Okay, and the other word um, I heard you guys wanted was oh I think I, I I think I guess this is for pronunciation. The word is schedule. Sk schedule. Think of it like a school. This this the this um these three letters C sorry S C H is pronounced sk school right just like school school schedule the same pronunciation okay okay so what you're going to do is the following you're going to you're going to go back and work with the same partner this time what you're going to do is you're going to be one practicing this conversation and two discussing these two questions what um Sorry, I should say, what is the estimated time an employee works a day in your workplace? And um, does everybody have a specific schedule to follow? Okay, so these two questions, I'm sorry, this should say what is. So that word is missing, let me put it in there. What is? Okay. All right, so we understand. Do we understand what we're going to be doing? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Everything's clear? So practice this conversation and discuss these questions. The same partner that you had as before. So I'm going to open up the rooms. I'm just going to give you less time because it's only practicing and discussing those two questions. Um, so I'll give you about five minutes okay okay here we go let's open up the rooms oh sorry 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 guys sorry um my mistake i'm sorry guys the ones abducted are coming back <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay. Um, Teacher, the last time I am uh, alone in the group. Ah? Uh, why didn't you tell me? Uh, 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 a little, a bit, a bit of time. Uh, oh, oh, a little time. Okay. Time, yeah. 
Okay, vamos a ver si funciona esto. Okay, perfect. Um, actually, it's not going to be the same group. It's going to be different just because there are new people that came in. So, uh, but it's still going to be five minutes. Okay, so let's open up the rooms. Ahí está. Ok. Ahí la ve. Ahí, ahí en la refri, busca arriba. Ok. Uh, practice. Now we, we're going to practice the conversation. Yes. Me salió una noticia aquí. Vale. Ok. ¿Qué hice? Ve, les publiqué la noticia, les iba a poner, perdón. Sorry, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is the estimate time an employee works a day in your workplace? In my workplace, uh, is the estimate time uh, works a day is eight hours, hours. And I have a one hour, no, I have it, I have it one hour. I have time to eat. I have time to eat one hour. Le voy a subir a este volado que casi no le escucho. Le voy, le voy a preguntar en español porque para que, para que no les confunda. Uh, cuando ustedes pueden ver a dónde yo pongo la barrita de, de las uh, de los um, ¿cómo se llama? De, de los participantes o ustedes pueden controlar eso cuando ustedes lo ven. Uh, antes usted aparecía, por ejemplo, al centro, teacher, y todos estábamos como a un lado y era como más fácil. Ahora yo puedo cambiar de lugar porque a veces no veo. Por ejemplo, a veces usted eh, está compartiendo la pantalla uh -huh. y no veo esta parte. Entonces lo que yo hago es esto, por ejemplo, la muevo y ahorita ya la pasé para el otro lado o la paso para abajo. Y yo creo que antes no lo hacíamos. La, la, no sé. Las fotos, ¿verdad? O, las o, fotos. Las uh -huh. fotos de, de Omar hecho los cuadritos de los participantes. Sí. Ok, ustedes pueden controlar eso entonces. Lo podemos mover. Ajá. Sí, yo casi siempre lo tengo minimizado porque... Porque como la, la, la pantalla suya, teacher, es, es bien dinámica. ¿vea? A veces apare, aparecen ahí di, ideas del de, de lado derecho, del lado izquierdo. Yo lo que hago es minimizarlo todo. Solo me aparece talking, inglés corporativo, creo yo que dice. No veo la cara de nadie, ni la mía. No, no, no. Estaba solo la barrita así delgadita que dice talking. Ajá. En inglés corporativo y yo logro ver todo lo que usted está colocando ahí. Bueno, en parte es mejor porque se, se concentra mejor, ¿va? Ok. No tenía esa duda. Ok. All right. Continue. Oh, and girls, don't forget to practice the conversation. 
Okay, teacher. Church. Uh, oh, okay. In in my work, we work around nine hours per day. Um, the schedule to follow, um, I think, is uh from. 10 to 7 to 25 past 4 every day. And we work from Monday to Friday. Sorry um, to interrupt. Uh, did you guys already read the conversation? Yes, did you? Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. continue. Thank you. Uh, Yvonne, do you worry? Hey, teacher, we have a doubt here. I'm sorry because I didn't pay attention, but I, we are looking for what are we going to do here in that conversation, but I, I I think that we are going to talk about estimate time and the employees work a day in your workplace. Okay, first right? you had to read the conversation between you and Wendy. Okay. Right. To read the conversation? No. No? I'm sorry, but I didn't know. Okay, Would you this like is to tell... the, the activity is the read and practice the conversation, teacher. Yeah, read, practice the conversation, and answer the questions. The two questions that I showed. Oh, okay. We are going uh, to say the conversation that we did between Ben and Matt, Matthew. Uh, yes. So the, the two question is who manages the restaurant and who cooks? Yeah, so first read this conversation and then answer these questions. Estas. Oh. Okay. Oh, the, okay. The, the, the question, uh, yeah. okay. Okay, let's go to read. I am going to be uh, Matthew. Okay. Hey Matthew, how how is it going? Very good, Ben. I'm relieved that everybody is here today because of the traffic. Is because of the traffic, you know. You are right. Look, who has the here early and late chief for this coming weekend? Early chief. According to the schedule, Marx and Sophie has the morning and afternoon shift, and Tom and Kate have the evening shift. Okay. Evening, evening shift. Evening. Okay. Evening, evening. Sorry, evening. Evening shift. E evening shift. Okay. Okay. Uh, what is the estimate time and employees? Oh, we are going to continue to practice the conversation, changing the... the no, no, the... you just have to discuss these two questions. Or did you finish okay. this conversation? Okay. okay. In, my, in, my, in my work, the estimated time, a worker in the night hours in or night hours uh, or in the day. And the week is total the 40, 44, 44 hours in my company, in my work. Okay. 
recording in progress. Ahí viene la teacher. The teacher is here. <laughs> hablen, hablen en español, hablen en inglés. <laughs> okay, good. All right, so, um, okay, so this, this had, a, the idea was here to practice a little bit the pronunciation and everything. Now, we're going to move on to the next part, uh, which is we're going to be analyzing um, a schedule for a restaurant. Okay. So, okay, so we did this, we already finished. Now, it says restaurant schedule. Look at the schedule at a restaurant and answer the following questions. So this is the schedule, okay? This is the schedule for a restaurant. We have a, the, the people that work at the restaurant are the cashier, the cook, the manager, the order taker, and the waiter. Do we understand these different positions? Yes. Yes, yeah? kitchen. Okay. All right, so we have uh, four cashiers four cooks, one manager, four order takers, and four waiters. But they all have a different schedule, right? All of them work at different times. So what I want you to do is looking at these schedule, let's discuss these questions. Who manages the restaurant? First question. Jennifer Rodriguez. Jennifer Rodriguez. The fertility is very good, exactly. The teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I wish I could have a restaurant. It's the other <laughs> job. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. My that diving shift. <laughs> my, my secret identity. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, so, uh, who cooks? Kevin Dooley, Karen Kevin Dooley, Dooley, Mateo Luz, Mateo Luz Linda, Harris. Linda Harris. Harris. Kevin Dooley. Kevin Dudley. They are Kevin Dooley. And Mateo Luz, Luz and Linda Harris. Yeah, so we have four cooks. Very good. Okay, now we are continue looking at the restaurant schedule, but this time we have more questions. Okay, read the schedule again and answer the questions below. Who is in charge of waiting tables in the, in the morning shift? Who is in charge of managing the restaurant? Who is in charge of the kitchen in the morning, in the morning shift? Who is in charge of taking orders during the morning shift? And, who, and what does Matthew do? So again, I want you to look at the, the schedule and answer these questions. But this time we're not going to do it as a class. This time you're going to go back to your partner and you're going to answer these questions with your partner. Got it? Got it. It's clear? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Good. All right. So I'm going to open up again the breakout rooms, but I'm going to give you a little bit more time this time. I'm going to give you. Um, well, actually, no, I, I don't think you should take that long. I'll just give you, I'll give you six minutes, okay? Let's open up the rooms. Okay. Recording in progress. Uh, you can see the presentation. 
Not yet. Who is in charge of waiting tables in the morning shift? Is in the is the page twenty four. Remember the WWE. Do you remember I, the Undertaker? <laughs> for the Undertaker. Uh, Jorge. Is Jorge Milano uh, in the morning? Mm -hmm. In the morning shift. Okay. Jorge Milano and Carlos Guardia, I think. Okay. Uh, ask me the next question. Okay. Uh, who is in charge of managing the restaurant? Okay. Uh, Jennifer Rodriguez is in charge of managing the restaurant. Okay. okay. Uh, who is in charge of the kitchen in the morning shift? Okay, uh, in the morning shift is um, Kevin Dooley and Karen Dooley. Okay. Okay, um, who is in charge of taking orders during the morning shift? Uh, Jorge Milano and Carlos Guardian. Matthew. What does what does Matthew do? Uh, Matthew do. Matthew Tool is the waiter of, of the restaurant. Um, teacher. And Matthew is a... Uh, what is the difference in, in between order taker and, 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 a wait, and a waiter? The order taker is the one that, that asks for your order. Say, what are you going to eat? What are you going to drink? And they write it down. The waiter is the one that brings you the food. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes one person does both, right? This is but, my doubt. Hmm, sometimes one person does both, but not all the time. Mm. Right? Not all the time. Sometimes there's only one person dedicated to taking the orders, right? And, and also it makes sense because if, for example, the um, imagine the restaurant is uh, also has like for takeout, right? Um, you know, if you, you understand takeout? No. No, takeout means like uh, when you order the food in the restaurant and then you they give it to you and you take it to your house to eat. Not, right. you don't eat in the restaurant. Yeah. So in that case, you need a, an order taker. You don't need a waiter. You just need the order taker. Yeah. yeah? Um, it's most a uh, uh, big restaurant. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, Except for, to give you an example, if you go to, like, imagine you go to, I don't know, Pizza Hut, to give an example. Um, you may go to Pizza Hut to eat there, but you may also find um, a, that you can go to the restaurant and right at the, at the entrance, they can ask, you can ask for the food and they will deliver it to you right there so you can take it out. Um, the, usually in Pizza Hut, the um the order takers are the same as the the cashiers yeah mm -hmm. so it's it depends each each um restaurant is different how they distribute the 
Yeah, it depends yeah. of the the organization of mm -hmm. restaurant, okay. every restaurant. Every restaurant is different, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. I'll see you in the main room. Okay. Okay, so let's check the answers then. Um, okay, so first question is, first question is, who is in charge of waiting tables in the morning shift? This is only the morning shift. Walter Olmo and Matthew Turn. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Who, could you repeat that? Walter Omo and Matthew Tool. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Walter Omo and Matthew Tool. That's correct. Okay. Now, who is in charge of managing the restaurant? Jennifer Rodriguez. Yes. yes Jennifer Rodriguez. Of course, Jennifer Rodriguez. Exactly. All right, um, and who is in charge of the kitchen in the morning shift? The brothers Dooley, Kevin and Karen. Karen, Dooley, Karen. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we are, we're going to assume that they are brothers, right? And brother and sister. <laughs> um, they, they might be just, it might be a coincidence or maybe they're married, I don't know. Yeah, um, maybe Mary. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, they <laughs> should be married, right? So, uh, but it's, I guess, or it could be just simply a coincidence, right? So we're going to say that. Um, and, what, and what if they are twins? <laughs> <laughs> twins, yes, that's true. That That is a possibility. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Um, yeah, okay, all right, next question. Who is in charge of taking orders during the morning shift? Jorge Milano and Carlos Guardian. Okay. For, uh, Jorge Milano and Carlos Guardian. Yes. Very, very good. And finally, what does Matthew do? Waiter. Matthew is a waiter. Yes. Matthew is a waiter, right. So what does he do? That's what he is. He is a waiter. But so what does he do? He has it. Um, Waiting he, table? He waits tables. Exactly. He waits tables. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay, good. So those are our answers. Now, what we're going to Teacher, do I'm sorry. I have a question on that. I'm sorry. Uh, with the... Uh, the pronunciation for waiting is the same like the verb to wait. Mm -hmm. I uh, ah okay. So there is no difference like to wait tables. Is the no but I mean uh, for example wait time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah it's the ah, same. Ah okay, it's the same. Ah okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. All right. Teacher, a question. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, if and Haley Duke is always waiter or waitress? Um, you could use both. You could say that um, you could say that Haley is a waiter or a waitress. Yes. Um, nowadays, it's more common to find vocabulary that is more um, 
politically correct so we just kind of generalize it we don't have like men and women kind of like uh we don't say anymore policeman because then there are also police women so we say just police officer also um another one is actor actor is now starting to be used also for females so you can have like we can say for example jennifer aniston is an actor and that would be okay too okay 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 all right now what we're gonna do is the following we're gonna create we're gonna um do an interview how this is gonna work is first you have to write five questions of your own okay work in pairs join the breaker room the teacher assigns you okay and interview your partner using the questions you have created so five questions of your own similar to the ones that we have um, talked about and this is mostly um work related okay so you can ask uh for example who um who is the manager in in your workplace for the morning shift okay uh or who is the um the receptionist in your workplace for the afternoon shift etc cetera, etc cetera. or who is the um you know the security guard in the graveyard shift etc cetera, etc cetera. okay so you're going to create five questions right now so i'm going to give you five minutes five minutes to create the questions okay we're just creating questions Teacher, a question, for example, uh, if I work all the day, uh, can I say all day shift? Um, I don't think you can work all day because all day would include 24 hours. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right, work in the morning and in the afternoon. Okay, so then it's, you have the morning and afternoon shift, but you don't have the night shift and you don't have the graveyard shift. Okay. okay. Or you can also say the day shift. The day shift can include morning and afternoon. And if you have any questions right now, I can I can help you guys with that.
Okay, are you guys almost ready? You have the five questions? Yes, no? I do teach. Almost. Yes, teach. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign you uh, your partner. I'm going to change right now um, the rooms so that we can have a new partner. And um, and you're going to be asking your partner those questions. Okay, that's what I need you guys to do. Ask your partner the questions. Um, and I'm gonna give you, yeah, five minutes, okay, to do this. So it shouldn't take you too long. All right, here we go. Let's open up the rooms. Bueno, do, do, mm -hmm. donde yo trabajo. For example, yes. uh, who, is, uh, who is in charge of the morning hours? Um, in my case, is a, a supervisor of the, the plant. Okay, hold on. Oh. Yeah. But, yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to, to, to scare you. Edgar, you're, you ask the question to Luis and he answers the question. Don't don't uh, no, answer. Yes. Oh. No, 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 Okay. no, 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 uh, uh, teacher, teacher, yes, uh, we talk about the different, uh, the different, uh, place or, or, or positions, position in the, or companies. In my case, is I think is different, very different in the other companies. Okay, so Manuel asks you the question, you answer about your company. And then you ask the questions to Manuel about his company. Ah, okay, okay. Okay. Okay, uh, the, the, the most easy. Uh, who is a child of supervision company and your company? Excuse me? Who? Okay, ask me. Um, who is in charge of waiting tables in the evening shift? Uh, Hailey Duke and Oscar Sagrario. Right. Uh, what does Jennifer Rodriguez do? do? Uh, she's in charge of managing the restaurant. Right. Who is in charge of the kitchen in the evening shift? Um, Mateo Luz and Linda Harris. Uh, and who is in charge of taking orders in the evening shift? In the evening, she's Mario Milano and Gustavo Wandique. Okay. And what does Karen Wilkins do? Karen Wilkins is the cashier in the evening shift. Okay, you're right. Miss Etelvina. Miss Etelvina Fuentes. Okay. Who is in charge of the 
human research in your workplace? In my workplace, in charge of human res res human resource is resources. Irena resources is Irena Irena Martinez. Okay. And the finally, who is the who is in charge of the reception in your workplace? Okay. It's okay. It's okay for me. Okay. We finished already, teacher. Good. Okay. I'll see okay. you guys in the main room then. Okay. Thank Thanks. you, teacher. The teacher is here again. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, guys. So I hope you had an opportunity there to interview the, your classmates and answer the questions. Now, I'm just going to show you my last slide for today, which is this one. The homework. Our homework is the following. Prepare a mini presentation about the scheduled activities in four activities uh, four or five employees do at your workplace. Okay. Create a timetable similar to the one in part three that is on page 23. Share the presentation with your class using the chart to help yourself. So this is going to be for homework. And we're going to be presenting tomorrow okay and you can use this like uh, something similar to this to guide you right okay so um you're gonna have you're gonna have to create a chart uh for the presentation so um you can create the chart and then you will be able to present it to the class um tomorrow Okay, so you can make it on, I don't know, it can, you can make it on PowerPoint or on, on Excel, whatever you prefer, okay? And then you're gonna be sharing it with the class. Does that sound good? We understand? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. All right, so that is going to be all for today. Let me just quickly take up the attendance. We have uh, an Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Andres. Present teacher. And, uh, Edgar. Present teacher. Janet. Present teacher. Fabiola. Katie. Present teacher. Irene. Ivan. Present teacher. Johnny. Jose. Present teacher. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Jury. Present teacher. Carla. Present teacher. Melissa. Luis. Present teacher. Manuel. Present teacher. Marvin. Present teacher. Wendy. Present. Warner. Present teacher. Uh, Yvonne. Present. Francisco Javier. Jenny. Okay. All right, guys. So that is all then for today. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow. And uh, I have Ivan uh, for my scheduled tutor, tutor class. So Ivan, are you gonna be staying? Of course, teachers. Okay, wonderful. Uh, okay, so that will be all, guys. Take care. See you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 See you. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. I see you. Good night, teacher. I see you tomorrow.
See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow, Warner. Okay. Edgar, do you have any questions? Oh, it's running. Okay. All right. So, Ivan, what can I help you with? Um, it's my first tutorial, and, and I don't know what asking you, but I know that what I need. Okay. I, I need this to, uh, I need help to mejorar mi pronunciación. Yes, yes. To improve your pronunciation. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, because I I was reading books and another type of papers in English, and I understand what I read mm -hmm. and understand the people say in English. Uh, La mayoría de las veces, no sé cómo es en inglés. Most um, of the time. Repeat, please. Most of the time. Most of the time. I knew that, but. <laughs> okay. And I have problems when I speak. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I pronounce the, the words like I, I read. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay. Like comfortable, you know, comfortable, the most oh, difficult words I practice. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Uh, yeah, in English, you will find lots of words where there it's, it's silent, silent letters. Like, for example, Wednesday. You don't say Wednesday. It's Wednesday, right? It's two syllables, Wednesday. So, so it's a long word. It sounds like it's, you know, three or four syllables, but it's only two. It's Wednesday, right? Because you you um, eliminate many words. Uh, sorry, many um, many letters, right? We don't pronounce them. Um, okay, so um, Ivan, the thing we want to do here is to increase our practice. Okay, so what you're going to have to do is practice, practice. How are you going to practice? Well, you got to first of all identify what are the opportunities you have to practice. Do you, for example, work with anybody that speaks English or is learning English? Yes, my boss in the Monday meeting with the Indian people, <laughs> and it's a uh, uh, a big opportunity and. Um, to practice English with, with them. Okay. Uh, your microphone, it's off. And yeah, I'm be afraid to make mistake when I, I tell something. Okay. Yeah. So that's number one thing. You got to stop being afraid. If you continue being afraid, you're never going to improve, okay? Why? Because when you're afraid, you hold back. You don't do, you don't do anything because you're so afraid. So whereas when you're not afraid, you just let go, right? And that, that makes it easier for you to um, improve uh, the, the words that you're not pronouncing correctly and remember also, right? Um, so that's the first thing you need to let go. How are you going to do that? Well, you have to, you have to play with your mind. You have to think. Everybody here is learning. Everybody learns a language. Yeah. Even native speakers, you continue to learn a language. Think about Spanish. Do you know everything about Spanish? No, no. Of course not. You don't know everything. And for me, English is my first language, but I don't know everything. I'm still learning. 
you know, as a teacher, I've learned so much about English that I didn't know before. And it's my, and it's my first tongue, right? It's my, it's, it's my mother tongue. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we, yeah, so, so thinking about that, that, you know, everybody continues learning. That's important. Mm -hmm. The other thing is that, um, uh, something else that you can, you have to remember is that every person that has become an expert had to start from zero. Right? right? There are, there's no one out there that is an expert because they were born experts. No, everybody had to learn. Okay. Okay, that's all for me, and I I need to uh, like musician look at my my ears and. All right, and something else I want uh, some other pointers I wanted to give you were two things. One, you can download um, applications. There are applications there that will help you with the pronunciation. Okay, so you can look it up. Um, have like an application on your cell phone. Um, of um, different um, a, like learning sites where you can, you know, speak into the, the, the cell phone or whatever, and they will listen and they will tell you if it's correct or not. The other thing that I, this is something I have personally found for myself, it works because I'm learning another language, it is using Google Translator. Oh, yeah. Google Translate, but the, the function of the microphone. So yeah. you can say the word, you can say the phrase to Google, and if Google recognizes it, it's because you're saying it correctly. Almighty Google. <laughs> and there is another good one. Uh, is D E E P L. Deep. This oh. another translator. It's D E P L. Okay. Okay. So those are very good because um, you can because. It's, it's a computer, it will, it, you know, it only, it, it's only programmed to detect certain things. So if you're pronouncing it incorrectly, it will not understand it. But so if you know if you are pronouncing it correctly or not, okay. right? Okay, so that's something that you can- I'm going to practice with Google, mm -hmm. with Siri and- Yeah. Yeah, of course. Let's use technology, you know, use it to your advantage. Right? Yeah. That's important. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I remember the, the, the first class, I am freezy when you asked me to introduce to the class by myself and I'm freeze. You're like, oh no, really? <laughs> Yeah. But after after that, I promised me I, I never be afraid in this class Good. because in this place I have to make mistakes to, yeah, to it's learn. Okay. It's okay to make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Well, yeah. I appreciate your time and see you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. Take Good night. care, Ivan. Good night. Hasta la vista. <laughs> Hasta la vista.